Hey, family. Hey, how you guys doing? What's up with it? Hey, hey, what's up with it? Today is July the 25th. It is 5.47 in the p.m. And I came on because I'm so excited. I'm getting ready to watch the DNC and I've been waiting on this. Oh, my God. Y'all, I've been waiting on this. And so I just had to come on right quick and let you guys know, please, you guys, we really need to come together and vote. Fuck all the dumb shit, all the rhetoric, you for this, that for that, whatever. We really need you guys to get out there and vote. Like, really, for all of us. Now, um, I am a Democrat. Let me go ahead on and put that on out there. And I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm standing behind Hillary Clinton. I fully endorse Hillary Clinton. And tonight, I'm looking forward to... Um, First Lady Michelle Obama is supposed to um, come to the podium tonight. Um, I believe Barry Sanders is supposed to come on tonight as well. And so I'm rather looking forward to it. Amongst a few other things, I do want to see um, Love and Hip Hop. Um, I think the um, season finale is on tonight. But I'm going to do a video after this right here. Because I just want to catch y'all up on a few things first before... I go into the videos of um, Love and Hip Hop and um, the Basketball Wives of L.A. And let me say this first before I even do those videos because, um, you know, for personal reasons and for conflict of interest, you know, I didn't really want to talk about uh, the Basketball Wives of L.A., um, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stand neutral and um, I wanted to kind of talk about it. I watched it last night. It was pretty good. Um, so we're going to talk about that in a few minutes. But I want to talk about my weekend and stuff. Y'all, I had such a good weekend. Oh, my God. I had a good weekend. Um, you see, I changed hair. Um, I am going to go back with my red hair this weekend. I am going um, to go see New Edition. And so I don't know what I'm going to wear yet. I really want me some badass jeans. I want me some, um, some tight ones. Can I go in and say I want some tight ones? I want some tight ass jeans and a, a nice little old, uh, body, a uh, little bodysuit top to throw on with it. That's what I really want to wear. So I didn't, I didn't order anything or anything like that, and I didn't plan on making anything. So I'm gonna, um, since I'm able to go to the mall now, holla at your partner. I wear a size 11, 12 in jeans, and I've never been a size 11, 12 in jeans. I don't know nothing about that life, but, uh, so yeah, so, but 11, 12 stretch now. No stretch, then therefore, the 13, 14s kind of give me a little bit more room than I really want, but them size 11, 12s, give me, you know what I'm saying, give me that little moose knuckle grabbing like I like it, you know what I'm saying, and give me that little hold on like I need it to, you know what I mean, it's kind of holding some shit, and pulling some shit, and tightening some shit up, no problem, I love it, so I want to find me some nice ass jeans um, to wear, um, I've been I've been checking out a lot on, um, uh, I don't want to be name dropping, but a few, a few um, sites on Instagram, and, um, so, but the thing is, that by the time I order your jeans, I need the motherfuckers to come in, and I the show is this weekend, you know. So I'm kind of pressed for time. So I'm gonna go um, and um, find me some bad. I need me some good fitting stretch jeans for small waist, big hips, big thighs, big booty chicks. Let me know down below on which kind I can find. Now, them white ones, I got those from Dee Dee's. I am going to go over there and go back to Dee Dee's. And believe it or not, those are size mediums. Because, you know, they go, they, you know, they stretch. And when they, when you take them off, they little. They look like about this big. But they stretch to fit. Believe it or not, those, them motherfuckers are size medium, y'all. I, I bullshit you not. Now, I guess because I'm wide. I'm more wide than I am this. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I, I, I can't call it. But I think the reason why so some some things fit like that is because my midsection is so small. See how my shit is? And I don't have no, I ain't even got no drone. Okay? This is just straight. I got a drone. I dropped Anthony off at work. So, um, so I had, uh, just put me up, uh, took me a shower, threw this bra on and just threw this, uh, this, um, dress on over my head. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not, I, you know, this is my everyday now. 
a little little get down like this right here, man, I'm cool. Ass gonna jiggle, it's gonna do that anyway, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Stand behind me if you want to. Huh? Stand behind me if you want to. Hmm. And I just went to AMPM, got me a little orange whip. So that's what I'm sipping on. Hold on. Uh -huh. So, y'all, how about my um, my alarm company called me? Me and T only dropped Anthony off at work. Isaiah had football practice at five, so we leave to go drop um, Anthony off at work. And plus, I had to go to Albertsons and shit like that. How about the alarm company called me talking about the alarm is going off the house and we need your security code. I couldn't think of that motherfucker to save my life. I named out three or four things. She said, okay, ma'am, um, we have to release the call. In other words, bitch, get up off the line. You got the wrong information. You ain't telling us what we need to know. The police is on the way at the house. So then I pull over. You know, because they call you on the phone first to, you know, make sure everything is all right before they dispatch, um, you know, the police. So, it was them calling saying, your alarm is going on at the house, you know, give us your security code. We can let you know if it's one of the windows, one of the doors, you know, what was compromised or was it a motion detector that went off. I'm, get, I'm giving her all kinds of shit. And she was like, nope, that's not it. That's not it. She said, ma'am, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to release the call. So she just hung up. So then I pulled over and I was like, damn. You know, let me let me think. You know, what's the code? So then I figured it out. I called him back. And so then uh, I speak to somebody else. And the gentleman said, okay, well, um, we dispatched law enforcement out to the residence. And um, when I got here, the police was here. Now, mind you. And the uh, the front door was unlocked, okay? So the front door unlocked. Isaiah, Isaiah come to me. I thought I locked it. He did cut the alarm on, which was a good thing, you know, because now, you know, the kids can cut the alarm on from their phones and stuff. So he did cut the alarm on, but he did not lock the front door. So when the police got here and the front door was unlocked, of course, they came in. They like, what's going on? Dogs barking and shit. You know, so then, of course, you know what I'm saying, I got my little trees back here. You know what I mean? So when when the, when the I'm talking, when I called the alarm company back to tell them, okay, you know, here's the security code, what's going on at the residence, right? So they was like, well, ma'am, the, the police are at the house already. And um, uh, um, so then she was like, the guy was like, well, hold on, let me call, you know, uh, let me call the, you know, the, the dispatch and let them know that you're on your way and what are you driving. So I told him what I was driving. I told him that I was on my way, that I was on the freeway and yada, yada, yada. So, but at this point, I'm like, oh my God, now they in my house and shit. You know what I'm saying? Even though I got my motherfucking car, don't sleep on it. You know what I'm saying? But I was like, okay, because I got my little trees and shit out here. So I was like, okay, wait a minute. I hope these motherfuckers don't be on some old when I get there. Okay, well, ma'am, let me see all your documentation for all this right here. Well, check this out. How about when I got, when, I, when, when, when we got here... So, of course, I'm I'm driving like a bat out of hell, trying not to get no ticket, but still trying to, enough time to get at, to the house because now the police are in my house and I'm not there. So, that means they going through room to room looking to see what's going on and all kind of shit. I mean, nigga, uh, no, nah, I'm not going to have you just roaming through my spot and I'm not there. That's how shit get to happen. You know what I'm saying? Let's not, let, let's not forget that this is 911. You know what I mean? So, see, I come from, you know, uh, I come straight up out of Compton and I know that's one reason why we moved out from out there because Linwood Police Department ran up in our house you know and and and, and you know major problem anyway so I'm a, you know I I, I kind of know a little bit about the police coming up in your up in your spot and sometimes it don't be cool you know just from back 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 long 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 time ago okay short story my brother's a career felon so, you know, that is thus the reason. My brother's doing 45 to life right now, okay? So don't fuck with my DNA. We some throwed off, throwed to the back, twisted out motherfuckers. That is just what it is. Did I say that properly? 
Did I say that properly? I said motherfuckers. Did I? Now, usually I don't say it that way. But, you know what I'm saying, I was trying to throw a little, you know what I'm saying, a little educated on the back end of it, you know what I'm saying. Not throw it all the way how I do it, motherfucker, you know what I'm saying. I didn't want to do all like that, but anyway. But, yeah, so when I got here, bottom line is, when I got here, they didn't even ask me about the trees. And, matter of fact, we stood outside right with the motherfuckers. You know what I mean? So, when I came, it was two It was two of those little, look like a Ford, little Ford, little, um, little SUVs, two of them motherfuckers, right? Um, and one was in the house, one was in the back when I came in the house. When I came in, me and Tioni, and so I was like, you know, telling them that everything, you know, they was like, well, we don't see anything out of place or anything like that. And they said that the front door was unlocked. And I said, well, my son, I just talked to him, you know, to verify that he did close the door. And he said, yeah. He said, but mom, I don't, I don't remember if I locked the door or not. So the officer was saying, well, your front door wasn't locked here, you know, so somebody unlocked, you know, the door wasn't locked. But it was the motion that had it go off. Now, see, Sebastian and them ain't no telling what the fuck them motherfuckers was up in here doing. You know what I'm saying? They've been humping for days now. So I don't know what the hell they was doing that set the motion detector off in the house, but that's what notified them is they were saying it, the, it was motion in the house. So for whatever reason, I don't know. There wasn't nobody in here but the dog, so go figure. Bottom line is, me and uh, Officer Whoop Whoop was in the back in the backyard, you know, and then he started asking me about the variable poo pump because we was talking about my variable poo pump because he was saying that, you know, by running your poo pump in the in the peak hours of the day that it costs more money when you run it between 12 and 6 o'clock. And I was like, well, you know, well, with the variable, you know, you're only, it's like cents on the dollar, you know, it's way much more cheaper. You know, it's like 90% less of me running my variable than that other I think I think I had a, a, a 1.5 at first, so it was worth that. I paid like $800 for that motherfucker, and that, man, that was the best goddamn thing. You understand me? Now the water can circulate all day, and especially with a lot of kids coming and stuff like that. Them motherfuckers, they pee in the water. Regardless of how much I keep saying, quit pissing in the water. Y'all go to the bathroom, y'all rinse off and all that, and all that grease and all that shit and all that shit, that, all that shit fucks up the pH balance. And so it throw the water, um, it it throw the, the the chemical balance off, and it make the water begin to turn. And when it gets like a really really dark dark, um, it get like a like that Smurf color, a darker, a little bit darker than that Smurf color, almost to the point where it's, it's turquoise but got like a tad green to it. It's too much. They didn't pee in there too much. Okay, so now I need a little. You know, a little acid, you know what I'm saying? So, um, either way, uh, um, so, uh, algaecide, let me say that, I need a little algaecide. But, bottom line is, that's back on, me and the cop was talking about it, and I was telling him that, um, the variable, and he was like, well, you know, he was like, that's a pretty good investment, huh? So we were kind of talking about it and all that stuff, and I was putting him up on where I got mine at, which was poolworld.com, holla, holla at it. Oh my God, they got the, listen, I think, is it poolworld.com? Whirlpool.com, poolworld.com. I think that's, that's, yeah, that's where I got mine from. Anyway, so that worked out. He didn't even ask me about my trees and we were standing right by the motherfucker. So he was like, whatever. It was like a whatever situation. So I was like, okay, cool. But be, speaking of which, yesterday, I had went to the dispensary yesterday and I had got me a book that's over there to the side. And when I was up there yesterday, it was this uh, sister that I was talking to. And so she was telling me that, you know, she got her own little thing going on too. So she was like, you know, you can get up to 12 trees. I was like, wait a minute, 12? I was like, because I ain't got but five. And I'm, co I'm cool on my five because it's just really me. And even still with that five, on them last trees that I had, oh my God, it, the yield was ridiculous just on those two. But I just wanted different ones. Like I got sour aqua, I got sour diesel, I got some cold shit out there. I got two sativas, two indicas, and a hybrid. And, and, and check this out, I got a seven leaf out there. Look, my shit is cold blood. I ain't gonna go back and forth 
anyway about all of that because certain places don't do it like that. And here in California, this is just regular common language. This is just regular shit. Now, over there in New Jersey, some motherfucker where they be like, wait a minute, we're going to call the police. Uh, excuse me, by the time they get here, um, I'm going to have out my motherfucking documentation. Let's quit playing about this bullshit right here. Uh, here go my gold motherfucking, what you call it, on the back. Let me cover up my numbers in case motherfuckers decide they want to draw in. Uh, holler at a player. Let me see. What up can I? Yeah, right there. My picture. What it say? That right there. Don't play with me. Okay, I got my motherfucking documentation. Plus got my gold seal, which means them motherfuckers unverified and all that other old shit. I ain't got no problem on that accord. Okay? And I was waiting for him. You know, because I was like, oh my God, they're going to ask me about all that. They're going to ask me for my paperwork and all that. So I was I was already ready for them. When I came to the door, I had my wallet with me because I keep my card with me all the time. So I came to the door like this right here, like, okay, what's going on? You know, so I just knew that they was going to say something, but he didn't say anything. So when it, um, my weekend, y'all, my weekend was so good. Let me tell you something. My weekend was so, 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 so good. And, you know, at the end of the day, let me say this, because, you know, I'm not trying to make this no knee to knee, or, and this is not totally a video for my girls, but, girls, let me say that I had a really good weekend. And the bottom line is, we just want the nigga that we really fucking with to have some act right. Ain't that what we want? We just want the motherfucker that we fucking with to have some act right. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Just have some act right. All this shit wouldn't be going on, nigga, if you was acting right from the very beginning. You know what I mean? But since you showed out, I had to go ahead and let you know I'm one of them. <laughs> you must not know about me. You know what I mean? So I had to put him up on a little game. You know what I mean? So, you know, he ready to, ready to get back to regular schedule program. And that motherfucker was like, okay, I got it. Uncle, I ain't gonna do it no more. Now I see what's happening. I'm good. Yeah. So I had a good weekend. I have to say that I had a really, 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 really good weekend. Loving weekend. Man, you know what I'm saying? I done reached my quota. Hold on. Here go Isaiah. Hello? Huh? Nothing, baby. Everything's fine. What? I'll talk to you when I get home. All right. What are you doing? All right, baby. All right, baby. Bye. I said, okay, baby. Mommy's fine. All right, bye. <laughs> My baby, Calvin, checking on his motherfucking mama. Okay? But, yeah, but, y'all, it was just so good, and we just laid up, and we swam. I swam all weekend. That's one reason why I took that hair off, because I didn't want it to affect the, the color. I love that color. I know a lot of you guys was asking about that color. I got that color from um, Sally's, and the name of that color is called Sable. So I'm going to show, because I got it, and I got it on clearance. I'm going to go back up there because it's $2.99 a box. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up there because I need to get me some more. I went back and I got me because um, it took two boxes. And then I think it was a, 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 a 10 or a 20 volume cream developer that I had got with it. And so, um, but yeah. Anyway, I love that color. I love, 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 love that color. And it reminded me so much of Shonda. And so I was like, you know what? I loved when Shonda's hair was red like that. And I, I don't, I think it, it, hers now is a little bit darker, but I love, always love that, <clears throat> that auburn color, excuse me. And so um, I'm going, I'm going to put it back on, you know what I'm saying, and fuck with Mr. Malibu and all of them come New Edition weekend. Yeah, and I'm going to go back to that. But right now, since I'm just swimming and all that other shit, I didn't want to fuck it up. And, and, and the hair is so soft, it's so manageable, it don't mat up, it don't tangle. Man, that was, oh my God, Althea, baby, thank you so much. I love that hair, and I haven't worn that hair in years. And I just, you know, I have units that I just, you know, just put in the bag, you know what I'm saying, and I just have. Man, I wish somebody can, you know, I could pay somebody, you know, to give me good haircuts to them and, you know, kind of, you know, do some shit to them. I wish I had me a wig, somebody. That can, you know, can really style my shit and get my shit all on deck like that. 
And even um, like some of the dancing is gone in some of them, and I don't because I don't think she does it anymore. But um, but yeah, you know, just that repair them and stuff like that, and hook them up and stuff. But anyway, that's a whole other video too. <clears throat> right now, on my diffuser, we have Dragon's Blood, so that's what we uh, got going on right now. Um, what else? Oh, last night I did watch um, I, as I watched. Uh, Basketball Wives, and I watched uh, Love and Hip Hop. I got caught up on that, so I'm going to do that too in a few minutes. And I watched um, Amber Rose um, um, with the game. Y'all, I just like me some game. I just I just like him. You know what I'm saying? I wish I wish he would go ahead on and, you know what I'm saying, get a little dinner work. You know what I'm saying? That would really just set it off. You know what I mean? If you just got, just went on and just said, fuck it, I'm just going to give me a little dinner work and a little visual line or something. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, but even still with, you know what I'm saying, with the gator, you still sexy than a motherfucker. I mean, oh, my God, he's just so sexy. You know, and it's like, damn, he can get it like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I was, I, nigga, I forget all the fact that, all, all, all the fact that I'm 40, about to be 45. Fuck it. That nigga was born in 80. I was born in 71. Holla. Shit, I look. Don't even say nothing about my age. Let's go on and just see what's happening. See where we can go with this thing. Yeah, I wouldn't even be tripping. You understand me? Oh, my God. I just think he's so sexy to be. So, anyway, we're going to get started on these videos right quick. But I wanted to come in, talk about the hair in case you guys be like, wait a minute, what's going on? Where's the redhead? What's going on with that? Redhead is still on deck. I'm going to get her washed up and freshened up for the weekend. Um, and uh, so... Yeah, so I'll do that come the weekend. Relationship status, everything is cool, but, you know, let me also say this, though. Damn. Well, maybe we'll do grown folks. We'll do grown folks probably tomorrow or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Because we got to do a seminar on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Somebody got to bring the potato salad. So we probably...